On a bill's journey to becoming law, one committee in the House holds more authority than the rest. Powerful. It serves the role as being a gatekeeper committee. Fifteen senior members of the House make up the Calendars Committee, a panel that sets the daily lineup of bills for consideration on the House floor. What I see calendars as an opportunity for members to continue to vet and work on issues and ultimately you know, make concessions when, need, when they need to be made in order to get those bills to the floor and voted on. Once it receives a bill from another House committee, the calendars panel has 30 days to vote on whether and when it should be considered by the full House. If legislation is not understood or concessions not made, a bill is likely to die in the calendars committee. In the Senate, there is no calendars committee. Bills that pass through a committee are placed on the chamber's intent calendar for general consideration. But there's a twist. Bills have to be considered in the order they were reported out of committee unless three-fifths of the senators agree to change the order. As a practical matter, that means a supermajority has to agree before debate can begin on a piece of legislation. What it comes down to in both houses is that a bill has to jump significant hurdles just to get on the agenda. Most bills don't even make it that far. Well, our system's designed to kill bills, not pass them, so it's part of that whole process. And um, it's pretty hard to pass a bill in this place.